we will now discuss the SR latch so as we said the latch is a binary storage circuit and interestingly it does not have any clock signal but it has a different way of uh, doing it so there are different uh, latch circuits so I'm going to show you a NOR based latch circuit so let's look at this circuit we have S and R inputs and P and Q outputs so what P is going to be if you look at the circuit since these are connected from the output P is going to get S and Q so S or Q complemented and Q is going to be R plus P complemented so let's look at the cases so if if S and R are zero if they're both zero let's look what is gonna happen so P is gonna be S this is zero whatever Q is it's gonna be Q prime and Q is gonna be P prime so what happens is that basically the output is gonna be whatever the previous output was it's gonna keep continuing with the with the previous output so that's why we call this a memory memory circuit it basically holds the information it doesn't change but holds whatever the previous stage was if S is 1 and R is 0 then your P is gonna be since S is 1 this is gonna be 1 and you're gonna get a 0 and from Q you're gonna get a 1 and we call this as set so when the set is high you set your output to 1 the opposite if S is 0 and R is 1 then you will get the similar but the opposite so this is gonna be your reset the latch circuit if you see here uh, P and Q you have two outputs and they're always complemented to each other so if it's one is one the other one is zero but when you get a one one case if the both inputs are one for latch both of your outputs are going to be zero and this is a case that you don't want to happen so that's why this is we call it not wanted and we try to prevent this happening and there are some circuits actually prevent that but this simple circuit has this uh, problem that it cannot deal with it so let's talk about a timing diagram like and how it would work so let's say we have an S 0 1 and 0 and then uh, we have uh, the Q outputs so when we look at this so you see S is 0 and R is 1 so one of them when one of them is 1 whichever that is so this is reset reset means 0 so you're gonna put things into 0 and then set is 1 so it's gonna go to 1 and then both of them are 0 if both of them are 0 that means whatever the stage here you're just gonna keep going until the next transition and here's a transition now reset goes to 1 that means we need to reset here and now reset and set they are both 0 and it's gonna just hold what the value was so here you have reset this is 
set then you have a hold whatever the value was you just keep it doesn't matter what the value you just need to keep it and this is reset and this is hold